Thank you. Could I have one, just one other question? Yes. Uh, what is happening in uh, the non-physical realm when you're not uh, channeling through uh, Esther? What do, what do you all do? <laughs> <laughs> this is only a minute fraction of that which we are and that which we do. In other words, you, through the power of your wanting, summon only a small particle of that which Abraham is. And so, if you are looking at us from broader perspective, you would see that an interaction like this, while it is infinitely important to us and to you, it's but a small fraction of what we are doing. What other things are we doing? Other things like this. Sometimes when physical beings talk, in other words, Esther is certainly not the only one who has access to the energy that is Abraham. All physical beings are extension of non-physical energy, which means every one of you has access to this, you see. Esther is an example of one who has, through the process of meditation initially, allowed herself to achieve vibrational harmony with the energy that is us. And through the power of the wanting of Jerry and some of the wanting of Esther, and now most recently, mostly from the wanting of you, you continue to summon it forth. So we are an energy stream of consciousness that continues to be. And we participate with anything that is a vibrational match to that which we are. We explore contrast in the same way that you do. The difference between us and the physical you is that when we see contrast, we see it as that to choose from, but we never ever see that which we are excluding. In other words, from our non-physical realm, we never exclude anything. It is always a triumphant game of inclusion. You, as physical beings, are much more important to the reality of the non-physical than any of you can ever really understand through our words. Because you have been willing to expose yourself to contrast that is more extreme, that is more detailed. And through the contrast that you are willing to expose yourselves to, you are able to then identify new desires and then we are the energy that is summoned by you, through you, to your new desires. And so you might say, we are all so much in this together that it's difficult to separate what we do from what you do. Someone sang a song about, you are the wind beneath my wings. And we say, the non-physical energy is very much that. It is the energy of all that you live. It is the heart and soul of that which you are. It is the joy that you feel in your belly. It is the passion that you feel in your heart. In other words, the non-physical experience cannot be separated from the physical experience. When you re-emerge into non-physical, you will feel the enormous relief or release of the physical human thoughts that keep you from the true vibrational knowing of that which you are. When you meditate and you manage to quiet your mind and achieve vibrational harmony with your core energy, that peace, that sense of well-being is a very true depiction of what it feels like to be non-physical. If we were to try to describe to you in great detail what the non-physical is, most of you from your physical format would feel a little uncomfortable about it because we would explain to you, we have eyes, we have not eyes so we do not see, and we have not ears so we do not hear, and we have not mouths so we do not speak, and we have not fingers so we do not feel in the way that you do as you touch one thing and another. But we are vibrationally so attuned to sensing that our experience is actually broader and fuller and more delicious than yours is with your physical senses. But that's hard for you to hear until you've begun to practice feeling your way into things, you see. In your moment of greatest ecstasy, that's what it feels like to be non-physical. In your moment of greatest passion, that's what it feels like to be non-physical. In your utter knowing that all is well, that's what it feels like to be non-physical. So non-physical is not so different from here, except we have a bigger arena from which to select those objects of attention to which we give our attention. We are creators, you are creators. We are pleased to answer this question as fully as we have. We could talk for 10 years and not really satisfy the depth of your question. 
the thing we most want you to hear from it is that you are not very different in your physical extension from that which is us in our non-physical. In other words, what we do is not more important than what you do. It is different, but not more important. We want you never to underestimate the power and value of your perspective. Good. Thank you. Indeed. <laughs> We have enjoyed this interaction immensely. We really mean it when we say to you, you've heard us say it a few times here, that you tend to overthink things. You do it only because you care. In other words, it's because you, you really want. And so we adore seeing you overthinking things because what it depicts to us is the power of your desire. And the power of your desire is everything because without desire, life doesn't continue. Without desire, you don't even summon us. Without desire, life force doesn't flow forth. So we applaud every painful desire that you eke out. But that comes easy to you. You don't need any coaching on that. The contrast brings you to that place. So while we would like to help you relative to all aspects of your life, you don't need our help relative to goosing up desire. Your desire gets goosed up by your natural process of life. Where we can be of benefit to you is by reinforcing to each of you that your work is to relax and allow the well-being that you want and deserve. You don't have to work hard at this. Well-being abounds. All you have to do, as in the, the comments that we made about the wonderful garden, you just have to relax and allow the natural flow to flow to you and through you. Every day it will get easier for you. We are appreciating beyond our ability to find words your willingness to chew with us in the intense way that we have chewed together over these hours that we've been together. <laughs>